Hello and welcome to SRP, home of your scale racing product needs. Uh, first off, I just want to touch real quick on the basis of uh, the difference between scale racing and slot car racing. They're very similar, everybody thinks they're the same, uh, and yet they are considerably different from one another. Uh, slot car racing is more of the guys that are all about lightweight, speed junkies, um, get the car to go as fast as you can. And I get it. I, I've done it. I, I've had fun doing that. And um, then there's scale racing, and, and SRP is more concentrated on the scale racing side of things. Uh, we make the cars look as real as possible, uh, and then we get them to go as fast as possible uh, without um, affecting the look of the car. So um, take one of our cars or the bodies and put it out on the racetrack, uh, your local dirt track, take a couple pictures. Uh, if it looks like a toy or a slot car, um, we're not doing our job right, you know. So uh, we got to go back to the drawing board and, and change whatever needs to be changed. So uh, in part, that's why some of the time it, 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 it takes longer to make, you know, cool product um, that's actually to scale. Um, you know, it just it takes longer to do it the right way. Um, you know, then, it, then from the price point, we try to give you the best value we can for the money. I mean, we want to give you... A nice durable product to your door at a very reasonable um, price and, and it, sometimes it costs a little bit more I've had guys uh, you know contact me that they bought a body from somebody else and uh, you know only ran it for part of the season and it, it's basically demolished and you know they're they want to try one of mine and they get back to me and they're like oh yours are, you know so much better they're durable they're better looking the, the quality is better so you know, we, de we demand a little bit higher price than everybody else does, but you, the product and the value you're getting is way further past uh, what you're going to get through SRP than you are any place else, as well as the customer service after the sale. A lot of people are, you know, they're doing this as a hobbyist type deal. They're, they're vacuum forming bodies in what I call a redneck setup. Uh, once they got your, bot, your your money and you got their body, they, they don't really answer your emails. They don't get back to you. They don't do anything. So, um, you know, our, our service, basically, we don't really take a full effect on anything until after the sale is made. That's when SRP stands out from the rest. So um, we just ask that you, you keep backing us, and we'll keep backing you as, uh, you know, the leader in the industry, trying to give you the best products we can under one one roof. You know, there's other guys out there that are doing some pretty awesome things, too, and I'm trying to incorporate them, uh, come on board with SRP. So it's a one-stop shop is kind of what we're, we're kind of hoping and looking for. So... Um, with that said, I got a couple couple of products that we've had on the market for a period of time. They haven't hit the store quite yet. I'm going to get them on there for the 2017 season, the upcoming season, so we can get products out to you guys to, uh, you know, like I said, just get you the best products we can at the best value. Uh, not necessarily that they're going to be the cheapest. Um, I just ask that you run the numbers before you buy something and make sure you're getting, getting what you're paying for. Um, Money comes hard these days, and you want to stretch it out as far as we can. So you're looking for the value, not the, the cheap side of thing. Um, so some of the products we got coming out. Um, we've had this cage for a little over a year now. Um, it's a really nice a ABS injected uh, cage. The cage actually comes to us from uh, the hottles out in Outback Motor Speedway uh, out east. And, uh, I mean, it's a really sharp, nice, detailed-looking cage. Um, the cool part is it, it works great for... Uh, it's designed for 124th, but it'll actually work in 132nd scale cars as well. But um, they, they did an awesome job on that design. It looks really nice, real real nice quality work on that. Uh, again, these are all going to be in the store in 2017 season. Some may be in there already, some may not not be. Um, I've had guys hit me up wanting to know where they can find a a, a larger needle bottle uh, to 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 oil the oil the motors. Um, Quick set for the super glue, the accelerator on there, uh, tire, tire juice, you know, all kinds of different things, all kinds of different deals. So you just got the pinpoint applicator. So that's going to be coming out. That's kind of a cool new project, uh, product that we have coming out. Um, as well as on the on the 124 scale, we're going to have some uh, chrome mud plugs. These are actually brass that are plated in chrome, so they're they're pretty durable. They're not super heavy, but uh, the cool part is they. They just fit right on there. It makes the car look way cooler than the, you know, just a standard hole or it's just, you know, pro track on there. Then you got the little slots on there, which don't really look like a, a real dirt track uh, late model tire or a modified tire. So on the back here, we have a 900 tire. 
you know, with the plug on there, and then uh, we have a, a 125, a big 125 on the, fr on the right front of this. Um, and it, it fits on both of them. I mean, it looks good even with the smaller, uh, I call it a burn-off tire, but some has been run down. So, you know, another cool product we got coming out. Oh, this has been my baby for like the last, uh, one of my babies, I guess, for the last uh, few months I've been working on here. Um, it's 132 uh, Bush Tour, uh, called the Bushy, uh, Bushy Body. Uh, here in Iowa or through the Midwest, we used to, back in the 80s, we had a, uh, a wedge wedge uh, series called the Bush Bush Tour. I traveled around the Midwest uh, doing some races. So I have a number of guys that are kind of into that. You know, we have the, the more current... Current style, I want to do, after I get done with this one and we're up and running for a while, I'm going to go back and revisit this guy and try to make him look a little bit more uh, more current day and on 30 second scale. So, but uh, anyway, so this is a project I've been working on a little bit. Worked the nose a little bit there over the weekend and, uh, you know, it's coming around. It's it's kind of a slow process. Uh, it's a lot of trial and error and vacuum forming. Um, so this is, I think this is going to be a pretty hot little body when it hits the market again. Like I said, nobody out there is doing that. I made a post, you know, everybody's kind of copying what we're doing here or taking our bodies and back for them. I'm not real happy about that, but, you know, it is what it is. But, uh, you know, so I said, if anybody's out there going to be making one of these, let me know because I'm not going to do it. I don't want to try to compete against somebody else um, or, you know, take their design. I, we try to do everything custom in-house and, you know, try to try to give you guys the best uh, quality, cool, cool stuff we can. Um So on the Pro Cuts, this is kind of a pretty cool little project that uh, we come out with a few years back. Uh, nobody, else, nobody else has kind of come up with anything close to it or uh, doing anything similar to it. Um, main thing is I keep hearing from guys uh, get back to me. They're like, "Well, you know, it's really cool," but I said, "I don't, I, I don't really have a, um, you know, I don't have a jig or a fixture or anything to do it on, so I got to strip one of my cars down or you know, whatever." So. What I'm going to do this season is uh, I'm going to do a whole kit. So uh, basically, I mean, you're still going to be able to buy the Pro Cut separately. They are a reusable product. But uh, you know, I have a tutorial on the on the website. Make sure you guys go over and you like the, the Facebook page, share it. You know, share this video, help us get the word out there. Um, We've got new products coming out, and uh, i got more coming yet. So this is just kind of a little bit of a teaser for the upcoming season. Uh, like I said, I, all these products that we're doing here are, are stuff that, uh, you know, the racers are kind of asking for. So we try to fill that void um, and give you guys what you're asking for and try to help you out the best we can to make it, you know, life as simple as we possibly can. We, we just want to race, you know. want to go out and have fun and race with our friends. So quick and easy. Uh, so with the Pro Cut Decay, you're going to get the, you know, get the whole fixture kind of deal set up here. Uh, this cool little tool is uh, something that was in, I'm going to call it invented or come up with by uh, DDC, Davis Dirt Cars. Jeff Davis uh, from out in New Mexico kind of showed me how to do this guy. But uh, this cool little tool, you, you basically lock it in your pinholes and it, it, you put your body on, line it up, and then just kind of give it a little squeeze and it pierces the body so that your uh, all your holes line up are perfect every time where you know, a lot of times you're sitting there trying to struggle and fight with it. Same thing with the wheel wells. You know, so you kind of come up with this little tool. You get two of them with it, and uh, put it on where it needs to be, and you lock the lock the body to your fixture, and it, it's not going to move. You know, so this is a cool little tool. Like I said again, that's from the design came from DDC, and then uh, you know, put the axles on there, and put your pro, pro cuts on there, and you know, whatever size diameter you want, and then go through and cut it out. Like I said, if you're interested at all, and you struggle with this, and you have what I call a hacksaw. Monster truck wheel wells or whatever. I shouldn't laugh. I've, I've seen some pretty horrible ones. I've done myself back in the day You know, but uh, we have a tutorial on there go on there check it out See if it's for you or not. I mean, it's it saves you a ton of time But uh, like I said, we're gonna have a whole kit set up for you guys uh, Make it super super slick simple to cut your wheel wells out trimming bodies. Nobody likes to do it You know, I, I'm not a big fan of it myself. I kind of knock them out pretty quick anymore because I've done enough of them, but um, you know, that, that kit's going to be something pretty cool for everybody. Uh, these little guys here, this has been like a three-year project for me. And uh, we're, we're finally getting to the end. I mean, it's it's been a, a roller coaster ride to some degree, that's for sure. 
Um, again, especially like on this product is a good example. You know, because the backing we get at SRP from you guys and you stay behind us and you support us, you know, we're able to go, keep going out and giving you new products that you can't get anyplace else. Um, so we just ask that you keep backing us because we're backing you. You know, we're, we're stepping up to bat and, and uh, we're trying to fill you guys' needs. So uh, we, got, uh, we got headers coming finally. They're supposed to be here next week. So hopefully I can get them in my hand, do a little tutorial video on them, you know, take a hammer to them, pound on them, see how durable they really are, and uh, get some feedback from everybody. And then we're going to start cranking them out hopefully here. You know, guaranteed this season for sure. So uh, this is a huge, huge deal for me personally to uh, to be able to get these headers out. We got two different designs, and the cool part is we have the two designs, but we're also able to get them in one thirty second scale and one twenty fourth. Where before, you know, these are one twenty fourth scale. You know, you you reduce them down about twenty five percent to get them on a one thirty second spring car, so they actually look a little bit more true to scale. They're probably going to look really small just because we're so used to running. The, uh, the model cars because that's all we could get you know and it, there's guys that were spending 25 bucks on a model kit just basically kind of for the headers and a couple other little miscellaneous parts so you know we're trying to get you the best best deal we can and it, you know i'm looking at you know doing a large allotment of these and shipping and try to keep the cost as low as i possibly can obviously you're gonna have a little bit of cost uh, in those the, the theory is once you buy a set of headers it should be the last set you should buy you shouldn't have to buy any anymore after that I I don't think they're going to break. Um, talking to a few guys, reading some uh, posts on Facebook. Um, I was really trying to have Shapeways print them. Um, they're quality control, I guess, on Shapeways for products that are being printed. Their guys are breaking them. So I don't know if it's I'm not for sure what the deal is. But I have, I have these headers that are coming in and... Uh, a tough resin and a flex resin. So one's more plastic uh, based and the other one is kind of more of a rubber base. So I'm not really for sure what to tell you for sure. I don't have them in my hands yet. So as soon as I get them, we're going to do some testing. I'm going to do some posting on there and then uh, we're going to be placing an order. So hopefully here within the next, uh, by the end of next month, we're going to have them in the store and uh, ship them out to racers. So Stay tuned for that. Like I said, this is just kind of a little quick sneak peek on what we got coming up for this this season. Like I said, the headers are a huge deal. This bush body's coming out. That's cool. I got a couple other little projects I kind of let out of the bag a little bit to a few people, and I appreciate them keeping that on the down low because, you know, uh, between SRP and Area 51, it's kind of like a little side project business I have set up. Um, we're just trying to, you know, fill the need for the racers that are out there in scale racing and, and what they want and what they need. and you know, we're trying to crank out the stuff as, as fast as we possibly can to you guys to make sure you get them to the track and and you're having fun you know that's the whole purpose of uh what scale racing is get get together with your buddies and go out and turn some laps and get some laughs out of it and just have fun you know so anyways take it easy have a good weekend and uh we'll see you all at the track and stay tuned for more updates from srp make sure you head over to the store and uh Pick up any products you need and make sure you uh, get over to the web, the uh, Facebook page and you like it and share it. Thanks. Later.